What's going on guys? This is the last video in the Christmas spirit. We've had the little elf hat on guys. So this is a storage unit that we purchased from storagetreasures.com. So if you're watching this and you didn't watch the other two videos, you probably want to go back and watch those. So we did one at the facility, at the storage unit facility. Then we did one where we did the unboxing at the house. That was video number one. This is video number two at the house. We're gonna go through the remaining, let's say 20 boxes. Find out what's in here guys before we go any further hit the subscribe button because we do we did we what we purchased six storage units in the last two weeks so we do a lot of storage units dumpster dives uh youtube interviews for ebay and a bunch of other cool stuff guys so hit the subscribe button hit the bell button let's do this we're gonna go box by box i'm gonna show you the good the bad and the ugly hopefully you guys have an awesome day and let's get into this box number one all right, and those of you who don't know, mom is here. She's gonna help with the commentary of all of the boxes. Okay, let's get this. All right, we have some, looks like a mix, mix match box. And no, and those of you that are wondering, this is a, I spent $400 on this unit, and it was a buyback opportunity, so the first two bidders on storage treasures uh, didn't pay, they called me and I went and picked it up for a reduced rate. So, which is 400, because it actually went for a little bit more than that. So, all right guys, personal photos, stuff like that, goes back to the facility. Um, so that way they can try to get a hold of the family. So this one has some of those personal photos in here. Uh, so let me get these out of the way here. So we can get started. This one. Okay. So we have first up a plate. Looks like it's just a gold trim, probably collectible plate. So that's the first thing here. We have a random little box here. Let's see what's in this thing. No, nothing much. I'll have to check into this more, but it doesn't look like there's much here. Oh, we have a Beanie Baby. So, looks uh, pretty raggedy. Or T.Y. Baby, right? Yeah, that's a Beanie Baby. Yeah. All right, we got a lot of these boxes up. Got a shell. All right, we'll hurry this, this box along. It doesn't look too, uh, looks like we have a dog toy. The uh, Cluck Chicken Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Dog toy guys, dog toy. Have a cool glass etched case here. This uh, necklace thing in it. This box is not very exciting, but we'll go. We'll continue here. Another. Oh, I just have a marking. You can barely see that, but another. Those are old. My mother used to have some of those. Yeah. They got like the gold trim on them. Mm -hmm. All right. So, more pictures looks like. Not much in here. We do have some uh, tanning eye shield thingies. I don't ever go get a tan, but. Ooh, we have a battery charger. I actually never sold one of these, so I want to see if this thing's worth much money or not. But you put your batteries in there and you charge it, so that's kind of cool. And that's about it, guys. As you can see, it's mostly pictures in here. So I'm going to put these up nicely and get them back to the unit. So, all right, let's go to box number two. All right, we got a bunch of small boxes, guys. Um, we'll just say this is box number two, but it's a combination of a bunch. So, yes, so let's do one box at a time. Uh, a lot of these boxes I didn't get a chance to go through at the storage unit. So we have one of these bad boys, Walkman AF, AMF player, Sony. These things are popular right now. And um, I think this would sell decently well. And it's in really good shape, like zero scratches. So that is a winner. That is a winner. All right, we have some shoes here. Never used. And hey, they may not be great, but 
They're I love, unique. I love new <laughs> shoes, new anything. Bibles. We have an old Bible here. And um, this, you know, Bibles have really high sell through rate on eBay. I sell a lot of Bibles. So that's good. We'll keep the Bible. <clears throat> and some books. So guys, I have like <clears throat> about six full big boxes of books. The way I do books is I scan it using Scout IQ for e or for uh, Amazon. If they don't sell on Amazon FBA, um, then I'll do eBay. And if they don't sell on eBay really well, then I'll take them to a local bookstore. They'll scan it for all their stores. I'll get paid there. And then the last scenario is I'll donate them. So got a bunch of books, and I'm not going to show you the book boxes just because it's you know they're books and and uh, I don't want to bore you guys. So it looks like a. What is this? A is that hockey? A golf club? I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know. So please tell us. Yes, in the, in the comments, tell us. Um, here's some. These are for golf clubs. I got two of these. Socks and some balls. You can never go wrong with golf club balls. All right, let's go on to the next. We have some wheel cleaner and polish. So that's cool. Never used. We got a little tiny box here, guys. What is in here? What is in <laughs> here? Nothing. Oh, nope. It was some sort of jewelry. But nothing's in there, guys. We'll still check all the others, though, because there's a lot of jewelry. We got these little things oh, here. Cute. Nothing, nothing. Oop. Somebody may want those if you do like a massive lot since we have so many of them. They're little gift boxes. Right? Yeah. And you gotta check them though because you never know. You never know if there's anything in there. Oh, this is a little apple. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right, so that is the first box. Let's go on to another box here. All right, we'll pull this one out right here. Okay, so we have just a basic little picture here. If I have, oh, another Bible. There we go. Bibles sell really well. Glass wipes. It's one good thing is you get a lot of cleaning supplies. Uh, we just have some nut, random nuts and screws there. What is this guy's name again? I forgot. Porky the pig. Porky the pig. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fabric, though. I think it's Porky the Pig. Yeah. Porky the Pig. He's an old commercial. Woo! I mean, cartoon. See, I'm going to have to... We did this in the video. I'm going to have to see if any of these are worth money. They're the coin... We used to collect them. Um, coin collecting. Mm -hmm. But look, guys, Some, it's somebody full. Somebody will want those. It's full of them. Are they all empty? I, I, I'll have to look through every single one. But yeah, they're all empty. Somebody Link, will want those. Lincoln Head Scent Collection starting 1941, number two. So they're all number twos. So I don't know. I don't know if these, how much these things are worth, if any. Maybe you can do like a lot or something, but there's a, they're all here. Like, just a bunch of them. So, there's that. There's a patch in here, an old patch. A flag. And we do have some over here. Wouldn't that be crazy if they're all full of coins? Here's some an older set. Um, but you know, and it's in really good shape. Mercury dimes. Yeah, some collector might want those. Yeah, there's two oh wait, no, this one's different. This one's bigger, so this one is um Nicholas. Washington quarters. Oh quarters. So, it's in really good condition. They haven't used it. So maybe I can... Let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. Um, got a lot of these guys and then two of the bigger ones. So, if they go for anything. And that's it for this box, guys. We'll go on to another one here. Alright. That fabric's a keeper. Yes. Alright, what do we have? We have a dog. A little dog, sock, some crayons, some body lotion, 
shower gel. Showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Um, some more shower gel sparkles. And we do have Cinderella. Oh, that's good. So I'll have to show this to Ashley. She may want that. But other than that, crayons. So not much else in there, guys. Not much else. All right. So let's go on to the next one here. So we showed this in the video. I think this, I don't know if this came from like, they're kind of older. They're not like for bullets or anything. Um, I think these are shake, maybe. Yeah, I think they're uh, diet shake shakers. But something. they're older. You can, tell, you can yeah. tell they're older. Like they're here's cool. here. Well, here's one though with like with holes in it though. Oh, you put sugar and cinnamon in there. And you think that's what it is? Those. Like here's another one. So they just look like liquid holder containers. They're kind of cool. Yeah, like this one here. See, it's got like it's open, but then this one has holes. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what this is. Um, some personal stuff here. Really just shakers. So we'll have to look and see on those. All right, let's go to this box here. All right, we have a beaver from Canada, made in Vancouver, BC, Canada. A little wooden beaver. So. That's our state. Yes. And here's another one. There's a lot of these in here. They don't seem heavy. Like, you know how that's that stone, yeah. but here's the marking for it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I walk out of the camera, if it focuses. So that's the mark for those. And there's a bunch of them in here. They just don't, they, they Ooh, feel I light. Like the they, yeah, they feel light. This guy's heavy though. He's like a rock, a little Eskimo. That is so cool. Yeah, he's heavy. So, and then we have a six day, this is a um, clock, an old clock. It's got marble with felt on the bottom. All right. So we basically got rewinds, mini DB cassettes quickly. And let's see if it's in there. It's in there. It's new too. So that may be worth a little something. Not a lot, but. All right. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. All right. So we have a ring with tiger eye. That's what that is. We have a couple uh, coins. A couple coins. Money clips. And we have, what do you know? Oh, this is kind of cool. Pocket watch. Yeah, it's got like a an elk or something on it. Uh, we have some more watches. We'll add that to the 400 in the last video. So not bad, not bad. We're gonna have to see what we, you know. Does that drawer open? Uh, no, it's, okay. it's, it's on there. It's but it's kind of a cool. It's a man's jewelry box. Yeah. Kind of a cool jewelry box. Let's see if we can read this. Oh, it just says made in Taiwan. So. Let's see. Oh, no glasses in there. You can see it's just. Gotta check all the wallets, guys. Make sure there's no money in there still. You never know. You never know. There is some coins in down here. All right, let me see if I can get these coins. I've got some weird ones here, though. I don't know if they're worth any money. So. We have this guy. Wow, this is kind of cool. It's like an Indian coin. Cut. If you can see that or not. Let's see if it focuses on me. Um, 
Here's the United States, $1, 1979 Liberty. So I got that. And that's about it. I mean, these ones I think are arcade coins or something. I want to go through this box and make sure there's nothing else crazy in there that we need to keep. And the last small box, antiques and collectibles. I may just read this one. It's price guide. All right. Ooh, another Starbucks. This is 1994 City Mug Collection Series. So probably when they did all the cities, it's Portland. Portland, 1994. Jeez, 1994. I mean, you got six. So we're almost like 25 years. Mm -hmm. This is a 25 year old mug. Can you believe that? Wow. Time is flying. Time is flying. Then we have just a random mug here. Here's kind of a cool one, probably like a 1970s by the color. And a county mug. And a random flower mug. <laughs> and just another hard mug. Okay, let me get some more boxes, guys, and we'll be back. All right, box number three, or lot number three. All right, so I'll show you these first. Um, so these were, they're kind of cool. Coins going there, guys. Um, there's three of them. There was no coins in them, so maybe they, they kept them in like a safety deposit box or something. But there's a ton of them, and there's two more here. I don't know exactly how much they're worth. Um, some of them has cases, some of them don't. Like this one. Oh, this one doesn't have, so this is one without the plastic. But still, there's a bunch of coin stuff in there. They probably kept them in like a safety deposit box or something like that. We also have a racket. I don't know if you guys can see, let me adjust the camera here. We also have a racket. Um, so there's that. I don't know much about those, I'll have to do a little research. And here's another one. Some of these go for good money. A lot of the times I've noticed they don't, but you never know. I'll have to look into them. But decent so. shape. Decent shape, yes. Peace and shape. So there's those two. Okay. So I'll put those two over here. All right, let's dig into this one first since it's closer. Got a small box on top. We have another book. We have a lot of books, guys. I'm not going to show you the book boxes just because there's so many. But oh man, nothing's in there. Seems like that's the theme with the jewelry. Nothing in here. You have to check all of these guys because you never, you never know if there's anything in there. Oh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Plastic. A CD. Nothing. With a, an accounting book. Maybe somebody with an accountant. Here's a cool bird. Oh wow, he's kind of heavy. I'm gonna screw something back there. That's, I think that's ivory. Yeah, you think it's ivory? He's kind of heavy. Little Spanish guy. Spanish guy. Well, there's a couple of these in here. I showed this on the video. They're rain. Like thermostat things. There's two of them. So there's two of these. Um, so I don't know if they're worth anything or not. But I've got two of these bad boys. Ooh, they're, it's a bookend. Oh yeah, they're bookends. So. I like them. It's a bookend. That's kind of cool, huh? And a bits and pot. Nothing in there. Oh, this one may have something actually. Nope. Nothing. Let's 
see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A lot of it just empty jewelry cases. I'm checking all of these here. It's kind of marble or some sort of stone. Here's another one. It's not much in this one, guys. There's nothing in these jewelry cases as well, so. That's this box, let's put it all in here. And we'll continue on to the next. All right, let's see what's in this one, guys. So we have a bag. Virtually nothing in here. Not much going on there. Heavy duty power cord here. Kind of cool. This is a, a light, a carport. Carports do really well on eBay, so I'm gonna have to check and see if that's anything. Here's an old radio. A candy cane. Non-edible, of course. Can't eat it. And some wire. This I'll probably sell local. Um, we'll see. Some of that may actually be sold, be, be sold on eBay and Macari. All right, doesn't look like much else in here besides some rags, some cool Christmas ones. Dish towels. Dish towels. Oh, we do have, I don't know how I missed this. We do have a cool Cars toy here, probably from McDonald's. And this weird thing, oh, it's a, it's a purse of some kind. It's like a purse or something. Um, it's in pretty bad shape. Then we have a lead crystal. That is. Whoa. Cut glass. Cut glass, crystal. so. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. Break. All right. Let's dig into this this one here, guys. So. Oh. A bunch of soaps. This is, uh, they're pretty. I wonder if they're handmade. I don't know. They, they're pretty far gone, though. And... Wilson. So, it's actually in pretty good shape. It doesn't look like this needs to be redone or anything. So, I was never any good though. And let's see, another golf club holder sleeve. All right, got one of these bad boys, a buffer. It's my Kia. Yes. So that helps towards the bottom line, right? And we have another one, but this is a massager. This is like a legit massager. I don't know about this one. I don't know. It's a massager, guys. Um, I showed this in the video. I'll have to look the model number up. I have no idea what it does or what it goes to. And then we have a lot of papers in here. This, a lot of this stuff looks like it's gonna go back. Oh, we do have this. I'll show this by the way. That's kind of cool. So a lot of like papers, looks like it's bills. We also have this one. I showed this one on the storage unit video as well. It's kind of cool. And that's it guys. So the tools are gonna do hopefully well. And it's got some good stuff in here. Well, let's go on to a few more boxes. All right, so I think this is box number five, guys. <laughs> All right, so a couple things. We got some bats here. I actually sold some bats recently. They sold really well on eBay. And you guys can go to USPS.com and free, you can get priority box, uh, boxes that are real skinny that fit these bats extremely well. So go to USPS.com, order your free boxes. And there's one there that works for bats. So I got these two bad boys and they may do really well. Some bats these go for a lot good. of money. Yeah. And these are some older ones too. So I don't know exactly. I did get this uh, Pogo, uh, Pogo stick thing. And it's an older one. 
made in California, or sorry, it's made in the United States, out of California. And um, I don't know if you guys ever played with these, but I, don't, I haven't looked up comps on that, so I don't know. But we have another breakable box. These things are fun. Let's get into this. So, I don't know, made in Germany. I don't know anything about, about this thing, but really cool glass. Um, we also got two sets of golf clubs, Callaways. And uh, I'll show you guys those. So, like two full sets. So there's another one there. Let's see. We have a 1986 Oregon Association Cup glass. Oh, this is interesting. This thing may sell. <laughs> Can you imagine just like drinking out of this thing? <laughs> if you guys want that, let me know in the comments, okay? I'll ship it to you. Um, let's see. How long does it take me to interrupt? Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. This is 1982. I used to have a set of those. <laughs> really? This is. Yeah, when I was uh, very young. I bet these things go for good money because it's unique. Yeah. It's like a, a pair of jeans. They but were of course, the, the name's got to be the same. Wow. That's funny. Let's see. We have another mug. Another mug. Niagara Falls, Canada. So this may do well. Who knows? All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, wow, Reno. A really old Reno mug. This one's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. It's trying to focus on me, though. All right, let's see. We have a second annual North Coast. That is kind of cool. Made in Japan, especially for you. It's a cool vase, made in Japan. I'll see if I can angle this down so it doesn't want to focus on me and it focuses on the stuff here. Okay, cool. All right, let's go on to the next one. Harvest of Happiness, 1985. Some people may want the stuff that actually went to those like events, you know? I find that a lot. Stuff that you think, ooh, Seattle Seahawks. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, too. get this though. This was main. This was main Korea. It's an older one. So that's kind of cool. Ashley said she may want to keep that one. Though. That that's one we uncovered at the unit. So. Thumbs down. <laughs> uh, here's another horse racing one. You know, oh. 1986. When you're, is it Portland? No. Oh. 1986. So a lot of these are like in the 80s, basically. Oh, here's another one of these. Ah. Ooh, Germany. Oh, nope. Yeah, this is West Germany, actually. They make great mugs. Yes. Place. Really cool mugs. So. Oh, we have another one here. This is just Seaside, Oregon. Nothing special there. Here's another one. Oregon Arena Conference. It's nothing special. This one is um, Palm Springs. There's a lot of Palm Springs stuff in this thing. I bet so. he golfed in Palm Springs. Yes, I agree. And those that are wondering, this paper um, was 1996. It was wrapped in 1996, guys. That's really cool. Just a random, random one. Can we get some more uh, Starbucks? Maybe. Here's a golfer. 
your drive is too short. You slice a lot. Your handicaps 103. Arnold Palmer, you're not. <laughs> it's a joke one. <laughs> yeah, made in England. I don't know. They have to replant the grass every time I go. Like literally, they have a landscaper behind me. So I'm <laughs> not very good. I used to have to go for corporate events. Pond other Palm Springs. Palm Springs. <laughs> hey, somebody's gonna want these Palm Springs mugs, okay? All right, what do we got here? Takes me a year. They wrapped them pretty good. Oh, this one's got a chip in it. It's just Japan on the down here. It's kind of cool though. What do we have here? It's like Christmas every single one. Looks like a Yep. Let me move some of this stuff over. Ooh, this will go for not like a ton of money, but an old Mercedes Benz. Some people that love Mercedes Benz is going to want something like this. So, corporate company for really well. 10 years after October 18, 1985. Columbia River, Young People, Roundup. Here's another, another uh, beer, Stein thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. We have a, ooh, this is really cool. Look at this. California. It's got a surfer on it. Doesn't say anything there, but that's really cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Another Seaside, Oregon. And let's see. Let's see what's in here. Up oh, another 1986 Grants Pass cup. Nineteen eighty-six. So it's Grants Pass and, and Palm Springs. Wow. Grants <laughs> Pass. What is the deal? This thing's old. Wow. This is super crazy. So look. Okay. Don't focus on me. Okay. You see? Uh, we're gonna have to blur some of this out, but it's inside too. That's cool. Isn't that crazy? It's got inside graphics and outside graphics. And it looks cracked. And it's got gold trim. The gold trim as well on here. That's crazy cool. Alright. Masters. Craft boat. Here's another one. Another cool cup. Alright, Maine, Japan, kind of another cool one. <laughs> New Orleans Crawfish Co, oh, that's 1987, cool. that's really cool, 1987, so that was 31, almost 32 years ago. Here's another one, another boat. Cut. We're getting there guys, we're getting there. Palm Springs. <laughs> oh, we already had a harvest of happiness or whatever that was. Here's a cool lighthouse one. That is cool. Yes. Mom, you want any of these? No. All 
Uh, University Universal Studios. Wow, this is really cool. He bought a mug everywhere he went. Yeah. That's nice. He collects mugs and watches. Yeah, that's actually a really cool one. Oops. Uh, oh, here's another Universal Studios. That's kind of cool. Does it have a year on it? No, I don't see a year on this thing. Um, we probably bought four of them, maybe? Oh, this is really cool. This is, uh... That is a cool one. It's got a roulette table, cards... It's That's kind of one old... you should keep, Wade. It's Las Vegas. <laughs> so... Yes. Oh, snowman. It's a little late to post that. All right, let's continue here. Let's get, to, oh, this is broken. This is a broken one. We don't want to open that up. Is that it, a German mug? It, this is a German mug, brewed, but a classic German tradition brewed in America. And it has the German stamp on there. So, pretty cool. Let me put this down so the camera focuses on that, on the actual mugs. All right, let's open up another one. It's like Christmas, every single mug. Oh, a kelp. Oh, Maui. Maui's good. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Maui we know mug. Everyone this guy Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Yeah, Golf and Palm Springs and vacations Must be a good <laughs> life. With a capital B. I think it's Obviously. Like Bruce. Yeah, his name was Bruce. Yeah. Um, I saw Bruce on a few things. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, this one's wrapped up nicely here. This one's wrapped up nicely. This oh, another Las Vegas one. We already have one kind of like this. An older Those Las Vegas. This Vegas one's cups. made made in Japan. So I'll have to sell those together. Right. Oh, this one's kind of cool artwork. This one, I can't... Oh, it's made in Japan, too. Mug. Alright, let's move on to the next one here. A lot of mugs. Another Oregon mug, guys. We have a lot of those. A lot of Oregon bugs. Okay. Mountain of Hope, California. Another Mountain of Hope, California mug. I think we already have one of those. Ooh, this one's heavy. What do you guys think? Oh, here's another California one. Ashley wants to keep this one. Put it in my now she's gonna oh, want to keep just, this. You have a mate now. <laughs> you just need one. She has a mate now, guys. <laughs> she knows she has that. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's move on to another one here. Now, just so you know, guys, this paper was wrapped in 1993. So that was when this. Yep, oh, this one says 1981, with Bruce. All right, what do we have here? Fantasy Inn. Oh, I wonder what this that is. That goes with that other mug. Huh? <laughs> oh, wait, are you talking about this? That. Are you talking about this one? Yeah, I think they go together. They so. probably do, because this one is pink and this one's pink. Same color of pink. Yeah. Um, well, let's just see. I'd sell them together. Oh, it's in um, Lake Tahoe, California. It even has a number. Wow. You guys want to go to Fantasy Inn? Let me know. I got the number. All right. So another Northern Air Flight he or Freight? He's going on Northern. He has a discount on Northern. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's going to Fantasy Inn. That's what's happening. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Another, another one of these bad boys. Oregon Area Conference. Kind of cool. All right, only have a few more left. This one's lasting a while. There's a lot of mugs. 
Uh, the world's greatest lover. That's what they give him at the fantasy <laughs> No, it's not pink font. I know, but that's... The, the world's reward. greatest... <laughs> Can't make this up. Ah! Uh, ten years. Oh, we already have one of these. Age of Miracles. Already have one of those. Alright. We have St. Charles, Illinois mug. Pretty cool. We have another lake. Oh, another fantasy. I'm telling you, this is repeat customer. <laughs> another. <laughs> Mom, why are you laughing? Would you like one? No, I don't need one. Ah. <laughs> she doesn't drink coffee, guys. All right, that's it. Let's continue on. All right, we don't have a box. Uh, so, guys, we had this full set of china, and it was completely in the box, never used, brand new. I opened a couple of them up. Um, basically, it's the Todd English collection, and it's um, it's all brand new, never used. It was the stoneware. stoneware. And it was under the Todd English collection and it even had its own box and everything, never used. So this was in the unit. I don't know how much this thing goes for. He's this a is, chef. Yeah, he's a chef basically. And um, this is his stuff. So it's completely brand new, still sealed. You can see these boxes have never been opened. So kind of cool guys, this is completely brand new. I kept the original box so it's easy to ship it. I just wanted to show you that this came there too. So who knows? I mean, I don't know the price of this thing, but brand new. If this goes for, goes for two or three hundred bucks, even has napkin rings. Then, uh, then possibly paid for the unit just like right here. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you this cool china set, and we'll move on to the next. It keeps on going. For four hundred bucks, guys, we made our money back. All right, got a Charles Paris. I don't know if these sell just with the cases. So I want to see. Um, but even has a little plastic thing that goes with it, so kind of cool. All right, this was a miscellaneous box, so we'll go through it all. Um, any personal stuff, I'm going to get back to the facility. Um, so we'll put the, some of the stuff over here. Yeah, it's kind of to look through everything, make sure there's no gift cards. Bonds, money. Um, you guys can see. Woo Man. All right. We have a citizens, an old citizens clock. It's kind of heavy. I think that. I think that's made good. in Japan. So it's made in Japan. It's an old one. Got felt. Made in Japan. So this is kind of cool. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but. Some books, guys. Age Defying Secrets. That was one of the books. Age Defying, oh, do we have some, we have some ink, guys. We have some ink, never used. But it's got to be really expired. Take some of these books out. Uh, take some of these guys out. Is it in here? Ooh, we even have a game, PlayStation 2. It is in the box. Personal photos, this is going to go back to the family. We have some watch. There's a lot of these in there. Like basically watch manuals and stuff. He was in Washington. Yes. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. Why am I afraid to love? There's a lot of love in this storage unit. Mm -hmm. 
bottle up. The, the owner said that he was there for quite a few years. So, that he rented for quite a few years. Oh, wow. Um, Little Chinese balls. <laughs> what? These are stress. These are stress. These are stress. <laughs> Those are stress balls, guys. Oh man, an old business. Huh. All right, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Mom's laughing because there's so many books in this thing. There's so many. Oh, here's some more ink. And some more books. I like it. I like it. We'll have to get some of those. Get, get to scan in some of those books, huh? Yeah. Oh. We're this is be, cool. It's going to take two days to carry another book. A flight control. guide, airport, and frequency manual. I wonder if this thing goes for any money. There was a couple flight books in there. Yeah. Maybe just move for Northwestern. What's in here? Is it gold? I don't know. I think it's just... What's it say, Wade? I don't know what it's for. <laughs> We're just going to put that back in there. All right. Oh no. Do we have coins? Oh no. We already found some coins. Nope, no coins. Add that to the no coin box right over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot. We have another. We the art of fine watchmaking. Oh, cool. nothing there. That one was. So, gotta pass some random stuff in here, guys. A lot of papers. I had to go through more books. Business cards. Got a TY baby. Okay. Not much else exciting to show. Let's go on to the next box. All right, we're back. All right, so I got this. Didn't come in a box, guys. But oh, she is heavy. I would say she's about um, a foot and a half long. Now, I don't see any really markings with her. Um, she's got felt. What's the name on the bottom? Is there a name? You see a name? Tag. Where? On the bottom. No, it, it doesn't have anything. That oh. just stick. Oh, here it is. A Dane, D A N E. Oh, sorry. A Day, uh, sorry, A D A N E L. I don't know if she's worth money or not. I wonder if she's. She's, she's a little bit. Someone's A little bit chipped up, but pretty cool. All right. We have an iron made in Germany. Made in Germany. Um, I actually sold one of these for like 25 bucks. So, some, you can never go wrong with plastic forks. Mom may use those. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. We found a bunch of lights in here. So, light bulb, sorry. Um, they're all new, sealed, older ones. I don't exactly know how much we're gonna make for these because they're old. 
but they're still working, so that's good. And we have another box in here. Oh, more plasticware. Hey, you can never go wrong with that, though. As long as it's new, it's, it's okay to use. Oh, we have some more? Man, it's gonna last a whole year. A traveling germaco that has to take it And some more? <laughs> but these are pink. I wonder if they came from the uh, Fantasy, Inn. Fantasy Inn. That's what he took there, because he didn't burn it. That was... No, oh, that's the same type of pink. Okay. Some batteries. Sealed batteries. Those are always good. Oh. Uh, Well, this is some old Kodiak batteries. This thing is just full of batteries, guys. I mean, they're not, not, nothing crazy. Ooh! These are sealed. Some old Kodiak cameras. Not used. And... I have sealed film. I don't know if it work anymore but it's sealed to go with these that's good some old posters mary poppins and there's a new mary poppins mary movie poppins. coming out I saw that. that's that is a collectible right there not much else in here guys so let's go ahead and go on to the next box beside me all right so this is another one guys um, here's the markings for these we got a pair of them so hopefully those are coming out okay on the screen there so here's a pair pretty cool I would say they're probably a foot a foot long or so. All right, we have another Eskimo, uh, handmade in Canada. Cool Eskimo couple. A random box here. There's not much in here, guys. Except maybe this cool lighter, which is probably empty. Oh, nothing. Alright, so let's continue on here. What is in here? I actually don't remember opening this to you. Oh! Wow. I don't know. I don't know. What is this thing? Um, it's a navigator. So it's got it's got everything in here. We'll have to look at the model number. This may be worth some money. Made in the United States. It looks extremely good condition. Um, it says Sport Nav. Made in the United States. Is it going to like this unit equals for exceeding the minimum performance standards. Oh, it's like a walkie-talkie, or it's a compass. It's a magnetic compass. Wow. wow, this may be worth some money. So, I'll have to see. Comes with some case. Oh yeah, I just we got the big money here, guys. We have their five thousand or sorry, yeah, five thousand dollar rolls, guys. You put your cash money in here. I don't even know if I can sell these things. They probably sell cheap. I don't know. But literally money rolls. Oh. oh my gosh, we hit the mother load. Literally pla plastic <laughs> silverware for days. Man, this stuff is not cheap. I mean, we, we can supply a whole army. Wow, wow. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
No washing silverware for a while. This is a really cool vintage. Ooh. I'll have to um, well, clean this up. On it. Yeah, I'll clean this up, but it's it's older. Oh, sorry. They're like looking at my arm. All right, what is in here? Oops, oh, some really old. Stationary. Stationary stuff. We got a pump. Probably to siphon gas. Some crayons. No mess crayons. Much else in, it, in here, guys. Just some random wires and different things. So, all right, let's go on to the next box. We have like three more for the video, guys. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one. The next one. You guys like that? Zoro. <laughs> Zoro, what are you doing? He got caught. He got caught. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's continue here, shall we? Let's continue. All right, so this is really cool, guys. Night or er, it says 1915 Thompson Co. So 1915 Thompson Co. It's got the felt back here. And it's, uh, what do they call those? Humidifiers? Humidity? Um, no. Yeah, it's a um, humidifier. That's what it is. And it's for cigars, guys. Oh. I've never sold anything like these before, but it's pretty cool. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Let me move the camera so I get a little closer. It looks closer. like it's in my shape. Yeah. Because typically you want those for scars or they'll dry out. That's a person that's really Alright, we also have the ball and chain. <laughs> so if anybody wants this, you know where to go. The ball and the chain. This... For next Halloween. Yeah, or not. Or if you just want it to wear it whenever. It's a humidor. Yeah, humidor. A humidor, yes. Sorry, guys. Alright, oh. We'll have to give all the personal stuff back. So this is just a bunch of Christmas guys. A lot of it's um, Hallmark, it looks like. So this is old Hallmark, 1995. So. You just sold some old Hallmark. Yeah. Hallmark from the other one. So we'll have to go through this. If we get this listed, we need to get it listed like tomorrow. Um, all right. And here's some Christmas for you guys that love Christmas like Ashley. You guys Those love, are cute. <laughs> you guys love Christmas. And, oh, these are really cool. Kitchen towels. Kitchen towels. This is really cool. And it looks like a little scrubby. Alright, so this is just lights guys so let's go on to the next one let's do this all right guys so we have a candle collection here that's actually in here they're in here they've never been used which is kind of cool so i might give them to grandma or mom or something somebody one of the family members will want it well i think you could sell it on ebay too yes here's a bunch of needles but they don't have the actual needle part, I don't think. Maybe they do. Anyways, um, on the main video, somebody said donate this to a um, clinic. clinic. And so I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause they're all brand new. And I don't even know, are these things very expensive? Needles expensive? I don't know. I don't have clue. I don't know. So we'll have to donate that to a clinic. All right, let's go on to the main event. Wow. <gasps> has Ashley seen this? Hey, she, has, she has not seen. 
She doesn't need more Christmas. I don't know, that's pretty cute. I, in fact, <laughs> oh, oh, here it comes, she comes I out of the cave. She yes. comes, any, anytime somebody says Christmas, are you wanting to keep him? Is he musical? He yeah. uh, I'm I sure see, he works. I know somebody that has something like that. He's out of tune, but maybe he needs the <laughs> batteries. He, he, no, he's, he's just shy. Push the light to light up. Do, do, do. He's pretty cute. He probably needs better batteries. Yeah, he needs batteries. Um, anyways, so let's continue here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, the, blue ones. the blue is it's nice. Huh? Alright. Right. Yeah. Um, we have a, sto a stocking bear. It's a bear that's a stocking. You put... So that's kind of... Christmas stocking, you put goodies in it. Yes. Like Santa Claus fills it up. And another one. See if there's see if there's any goodies in there. No. There's nothing. <laughs> I'm all the orange. There's nothing. That's in what my mom put in mine. Ooh, this is really wow, this one's way Ooh. That's it's made out of China, so it's not like an old old one, but that's, that's really cool. See there's family inside of it and this is gl this is glass. Wow. This is the best one I've seen so far. It's it's like an actual family in there. Gosh. That's crazy. All right, we have Frosty the Snowman. Yeah, let's see this. <laughs> A bobblehead Frosty. Yes. <laughs> bobblehead Frosty. We'll put him back in there. Pretty cute. Pretty pretty cute. Oh, we have some tissues or something. Nothing in there. That's a really cool box, huh? Oh, it's like fake moss stuff in that thing. It is a cool box. Here is a Santa. He's kind of cool. I like that Santa. He's a little heavy. He's a rustic Santa. He's a <laughs> he's a rustic Santa. I like. All right, Sam, go back in your, your house there. Jingle bells. Okay. So we have a bunch of these here. And, wow, this is a cool tree topper. Can we'll slide up or something? Deluxe. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? She's pretty. She's pretty. Anybody want her? No? Anybody want her? Okay. She's cool though. Somebody's gonna want her. We have another stuffing, but this one's different. This one's in the back. It's pretty cool. All right. Just a bunch of knickknack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone in here. This old man, have you guys never? Okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's see. Look at this guy. Wow. This That's is a big one. This is actually is really cool. There? Yeah, made in Taiwan, so it's an older one. Um, wow, and it doesn't have. You gotta watch out. Sometimes they have like dirty water, not dirty water, but glazed water for the age. I've sold a few of these. It, he is heavy. Look at the bass on that thing. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. It's musical. That's a very cool one, isn't it? What do you guys think? Are you going to keep that one? Uh, let me put you to sleep. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Until the next box. <laughs> Your friendly elf here with another box. <laughs> this is not as fun, but we'll go through this one. Who is this person again, Mom? Porky the pig. Porky the pig. Porky the pig. That's material. We have some more of this, guys. It's five thousand 
you know, dollars per little paper you put your cash in. So, we do have a skill saw that came with the unit. Actually, it looks like it's in good shape. It's not right it looks in really good shape. And then we have some stuff that, this is like collect energy, maybe? I have no idea what this is. Uh, we have a bunch of <laughs> random stuff here. Wow, this is kind of a cool level. That's cool. It's a certain kind of level. We have a Craftsman stapler as well. Um, uh, this tells us if there's a stud or not. Oh, he's got his handy toolbox. So this is all tools, guys. We do have a random watch uh, repair kit thing in there. This is made in the U.S. Doesn't have a bin. bin <laughs> huh? It, this it needs a new blade. No, it's it's custom. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Oh, this is a uh, radar warning re receiver. Radar. That's for cops in the car. It's an old one though. Wow. Yeah. Wow, this is an old one. That they have their radar on. It'll since it in. was it Cincinnati microwave. I don't know. Must be one of the first. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's. She's so smart. She's <laughs> one smart cookie. Um, digital scorekeeper. Oh, that's kind of cool. Digital scorekeeper. Nothing in there. The gem king. He had gems. There's nothing in there. We have a bunch of staplers, guys. In here. Staples. Okay, not not much else in here. Another stapler. A remote. We do love our remotes. Oh, no corrosion as well. And there you go. No corrosion at all. That's nice. So we love selling remotes. And a box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That box knife was open. Whoa, what the heck? This one's permanently open. Made in the United States, and there's no... Wow, that's dangerous. You gotta be careful with that thing. Put it in here so it doesn't get... Alright, so that's about it, guys. I mean, nothing too special in here. Um, still a pretty good unit. Um, Alright, so long story short, we have... I'm not going to show them on camera because they're um, Playboys, but I have about, what, probably three of these full of 1980 Playboys. Um, and they're right over there. There's there's three, like, full on, and they're in extremely good condition. Now, I did buy another storage unit probably about six months ago that had just one box full of Playboys, and they sell really well on eBay. Um, and they're easy to send, they're easy to ship, um, but I've got about three full boxes full of almost really good condition in the, some are in the plastic sleeve 1980s Playboys and some older. So I've got those. Um, we also have a, uh, that vintage old rocking chair that's in the, in the truck. So that will probably be about 150 bucks right there. Um, we have some other furniture that I'm going to sell that was from the first uh, video. So probably another 100, 150 bucks there. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly how much we're gonna make on this unit. Like the water guns, like those are 50 to 70 bucks each right there. So 150 bucks, um, the super soakers. So there's a lot of money in this unit. I think I did extremely well. And uh, we'll continue to, uh, to buy it one unit a week. And I'll keep you guys updated when we get the next unit. So until then, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. 
And uh, Ashley, do you want to say anything? Mom, hit the subscribe button. Until next week. Until next week, guys. See ya.